Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the People's Committee of Game Development, which, as you can see, it's a browser game, so this is a unique thing I've had yet had to do. Hopefully this won't be too hard on the old eyes, but anyway, this is a browser game at the current moment about, well, you guessed it, game development. Now the gameplay, if it can be called such, and I mean that in the nicest way, is pretty much all choices. You're in a socialist nation, we'll just say for the sake of, uh, anything, we'll just say Venezuela, uh, and you get to choose who's going to be working on your game and what kind of accessories, hardware, and things you're going to do. Now, the thing I didn't understand at the time was that you need to pay attention to the job titles you are picking. If you pick two things, say you pick journalist and journalist, you're going to replace the old journalist and you're going to have a skeleton crew working on your uh, game. So try and do your best as far as, I guess you could call it diversity. God, I hate that word. Uh, if you want to do it that way, just to make sure you don't screw the pooch, and I, like I did, only had two people working on it, so you get to choose this, your hardware, what are you going to use as a controller, and what are you going to do for this hardware, and this actually makes a difference. You might think, well, don't you just want to choose the highest one? Yeah, yeah, kind of, but not all that much. For this, right here. Now this, I'm not 100% sure on, I've only played through like two rounds of this so far, but it is a pretty addictive game as much as it is just a choosing thing. It is actually kind of addictive. I think I went with role-playing this first time because I was like, if I'm making anything, it's going to be a role-playing game. Just for... I like role-playing games, alright? Now this is where you got to pay attention to who you hired. Do you have a controller? Well, you want evils of capitalism. Or evils or capitalism? Apparently socialists can't spell either. Uh, <laughs> power or atom? Or is that supposed to be some kind of Russian? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like an R, so I'm pronouncing it R. Technological prowess, industrial efficiency, so it does make a difference as to what you chose prior. So if you want to be efficient, which you should, this is a game about being efficient, that if you, once you complete the first game and you complete that, the next one, the next approval goes up to, I think, 70? So it goes up pretty high. So hopefully you learn something. And it just keeps going on and on like this. Uh, until eventually you fail. You get to pick an award, and after this, you start all over again. So that's about it for today, everyone. Uh, you can find this in the description below if you'd like to play it yourself, and hopefully I'll see you next time. See ya!